what Dr. Rose Wilder meant to me and um, her award is sponsored by her daughter today. Um, I spoke with her to get her blessings when I first did the award and then I had another conversation with her this year when it was time to do it again and she is so supportive of this award. She says, I want to sponsor this award and I just thank her for it. Of course, I told you all last year as she comes up, Ms. Kimberly Johnson at Senator, I'm a representative, I'm just speaking to you, I'm speaking to you. Um, Kimberly Johnson was the first recipient of the award and you all know what Kimberly means to us in our community, but I just am so honored to be able to do this in, on behalf of Dr. Wilder. And I'm gonna pass this mic to Kimberly because this individual with this award, I ask her to please do this presentation for me. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. So glad to be here. Are y'all excited? Yes. Yeah. I'm pleased before I get started. Let's show Linda Jackson some love. A true servant, always serving, looking for nothing in return. Thank you so much, Linda, for being you. Today is awesome. Few people know, Linda is one of them, she knew. Um, I have stepped back from a lot of public events. I said, Linda, I gotta focus on me right now. And there were a couple things she asked of me prior to this, and understandably so, she accepted my no. And when she told me about today, I said, wait a minute, you got Stacy Brayboy? She said, yes. I said, okay. And I, she told me who she was recognizing. She told me the purpose of the event. I said, Linda, I'm coming back. I'll be there. And I am so excited because feeling the energy in this room, the panelists, y'all have been great thus far. Yeah. But I want us ladies to really admit that in our work lives, in our social lives, We've had to compete with men, but I'm gonna speak personally, it wasn't the men stabbing me in my back. I felt a lot of things from women, more, more specifically women that look like me. And so to be in this room with all of you, to feel the love, the support, and the energy, please, let's keep this up. Yes. And now, without further ado, when Linda talked about Dr. Wilder, she knows she's near and dear to my heart. Um, Dr. Wilder, I grew up loving on her. I can remember being at Manning Primary School and she gave me a doll baby. And now everybody in the room, especially my age, I was like, doll baby? I don't play with doll babies. But she told me that there was one time in the office that her principal, she was assistant principal, and this was at Manning Primary School, and the, I was in there to turn in the attendance card, and the principal went on and on, and it was this young little student, and she had blonde hair, and she had blue eyes, and everyone said, you're so pretty, aren't you pretty? And I didn't think I was paying any attention, and Dr. Wilder bought me the doll baby. She said, because that young girl was pretty, but so are you, and so is this doll. And anytime you need to be reminded about beauty, I don't want you to have a certain thought of what beauty is. You have it and you carry this doll. And many, many years later, especially after losing Dr. Wilder, I, I met a young lady years ago and I was the school board chair when she came to town. And I said, gosh, she reminds me of somebody. And every now and then she tells me off. <laughs> every now and then she loves on me, but she gives me all these books to read all the time. And sometimes when I'm going off, she'll say, now, you know how you could have handled that better. But most importantly, she doesn't just tell me. I see times, Doris, when I'm looking around rooms and I'm seeing her being disrespected overlooked, 
she exemplifies what she tells me the response should be. Without further ado, we are honoring Dr. Jacqueline in Abbott, the, ass the Assistant Superintendent of the Clarendon County School District with the Dr. Rose H. Crowder Trailblazer Award. I'm not gonna say nothing else because I, I love this lady, y'all. She's phenomenal. I said, let me tell you how she come about God. Her secretary was out two days. I couldn't get the family number from the secretary. I couldn't get her family information from anybody. And this morning she said, Linda, can my mama come with me? Girl, bring your mama. I said, and look at God. Now you see why I said look at God. <laughs> Love you so much. <laughs>